Hey everybody. So, do any of you have what's going on? I swear to God, there's a ghost in here. Uh, how many of you um have someone that you love or somebody that you know who has a uh, condition where they need um you know a caregiver and how do you how do you think or feel about um, the relationships they have with somebody that needs a caregiver um, I was in another rela relationship before I met my hus husband and it didn't put a strain on our, on our relationship. Um, but I just didn't care anymore. I didn't illnesses. Once diagnosed with a chronic illness, it is not unusual for an individual's family members to feel anger, denial, safe blame, fear, shock, confusion, and hope, helplessness. But you know, since chronic illnesses are usually not curable, it is necessary to understand how chronic illnesses affect Not only the individual, but others, but also the relationships within the family. Statement of the problem when a member of the family suffers from a chronic illness. The family dynamic may drastically change. A chronic illness has a monumental impact. Not only on the development of the individual suffering, but it may also on the individual family. Family members. I hate this. So basically, it is an absolute strain on the family. Both physically, mentally, emotionally. Um... It just drains the energy out of you. And it drains the energy out of the person that has it. Um, you know, they didn't used to talk about all this chronic illnesses. They didn't used to talk about all this crap on television. Um, I remember being a kid and the commercials that came on were like for Lucky Charms, Coco Pebbles, you know, um, Opryland. Uh, Amusement parks, you know, there was no medicine except for like ibuprofen or Tylenol on television. There was no medicine that the, uh, you know, promoting drugs to make people hypochondriac thinking they've got all this stuff wrong with them and they don't. And, um, it's just crazy. You know, I have had um, several things that they were doing. The class action all lawsuit. <sighs> that they were doing a class action lawsuit on. And so they called me. And I had three or uh, four things. Um, and... They're like, well, you, this is your, your name's the class action lawsuit. I'm like, for what? Well, I just need to verify a few things. I said, I'm not going to cancel or, or I'm not going to sue. I'm not going to sue a pharmaceutical company over. A couple of my my medicines and the mesh that they use on my hernias. I'm not gonna do it. He said, "Well, why not?" I said, "Because 
I refuse to get a, a pharmacist to talk to me about it. I'm a big girl. I can look it up. Okay. And um, the other one was, and I got another one. And I was just like, yeah, people leave me alone. I'm not suing anybody. Go away. But that's the problem. We have a suicide. We have a we have a suing established uh, group of people in this world. It's ridiculous. I'm not going to sue somebody over stupid shit. You know, you take the medicine long enough, you know what the what the side effects are. You know everything about it. And that's fine. I don't understand it. I guess they just don't want to get out and get a job and support themselves. So let's so let's become a uh, on hit your bumper and blame it on you and this that and the other. But you know, what? eventually. You get caught up in that, and you go down. Um, it's all crazy. Sometimes, the caregiver needs a day off. Sometimes, that caregiver needs a vacation. Now, it's harder to do when you're married to them. Not so hard when you've got one that's 19, 20. Uh. <sighs> so, we all make our life choices. You know. You can join everybody else and be on the Sioux train, or you can just take it because you need it. But once you sign that paper, it says you refuse to talk to the pharmacist, you are now responsible for that drug. And that's what everybody needs to be. You take that drug, you refuse consultation, you shouldn't be able to sue them. And that's why I think that is should they say, and that's my own personal opinion. So, folks, I'm going to get off of here. I'm so tired. And you know what? I bought these pants last year. I don't know what size they are, but they're too big. Because I had gained a lot of weight. A lot of weight. And I had lost my weight. And then um, I would, and I was still losing. Even after Christmas, I was still losing. And then, um, I got hit with a, uh, with the Intivio. And I gained three to five pounds a month on it. Yeah, it didn't work. But I'm happy to say that, uh, plant food, vegan diet, it's going to be good for me, and I'm not going to doubt that one bit. Um, you know, I boiled some potatoes, and um, and uh, and if he eats all my damn potatoes, I'm mad at him. But anyway, um, I'm tired because I put um.
I I put Finnegan in my bag. I was nauseous, but I didn't want it to come over me, oh, over onto me, like quick, quick. And so I just squirted it into the bag. So anyway, um, my throat's saying it's so dry. Uh, <coughs> I hope I'm not coming out with no flu bug. I use Clorox wipes on everything, everything, all my furniture, everything. I'm trying, trying to keep the bugs away from me and Ed. But, if, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, I'm always up to doing new things and, and being given new ideas because my my brand, everything I've got um, is linked up to YouTube. YouTube's linked up with my my Facebook, my Twitter. Um, I'm, I'm not on Snapchat. Could never figure the damn thing out. Um, I'm not on Vine. Uh, I do have a Weebly. Um, uh, I got several accounts. Um, but, um, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, go back and, and, uh, check out, uh, current, current events. I know I'm saying it's so dry. But go. Go on current events. And you'll be alright. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off now. Something's not right. So you guys have a good day. And I'll get this up as soon as I can. Bye.